Hey guys, Sarah Strat Sniper here. If you are a new customer to Trend Spider and want to make it more strat friendly, I thought it would be helpful to you if I made a little video about it. Settings and indicators and information that I use. If you signed up for Trend Spider through my affiliate link, I thank you very much. It does help me out um, a little bit. As you know, I'm an affiliate, so I do get a little bit of kickback. With that being said, I do not affiliate with companies I do not believe in or use. Um, so I do appreciate it. So let's get into it. First things first, the numbered bars. So you're going to come up here to indicators. You're going to click the little three dot menu. Okay. And then you can just type the strap Oop. and you'll click on it and it'll pull it up over here on the right. And then this is where you can kind of do your editing. You can customize it to, you know, put the numbers on the top of the candle, on the bottom of the candle, and you can change the color of the number. And then you just go and hit apply. So then you'll have your numbers on there. The second thing is this full time frame continuity indicator. Um, and if you look up here, this says sidebar. So this section is the sidebar. So what you'll want to do is you'll click sidebar, you'll click add or remove widgets. Um, so I use these three things. Um, I use my watch list and then I have a scanner and then the smart checklist is the time frame continuity indicator. So we will remove it and then you can go here and hit smart checklist and then hit done. Then you're going to go into this box and you're going to click choose script. And then if you scroll down, you can pick which full time frame continuity indicator you want to use. So this this one is the day, the 65, the 15, the five. So this is more for day traders. And then this one, since they're bigger time frames, this is more for the uh, swing traders, one to two day holds, you know, whatever you want. So since I'm using bigger time frames in the background, we will use this one. And then you're gonna hit choose this script. And it refreshes Anytime you go to a new chart, you want to have current candle checked. So it's showing us that the day is green, the week is green, but the month is still red. If you want to use multiple screens, you click this button, you have all these options. And you can pick different time frames. So same ticker, but two different time frames. Okay, up here, this other data tab, you want to click the three dot menu and you want to select the things that you want to see on the chart. So I want to be made aware if there's a split, a dividend, or earnings coming up. You haven't played with this short volume yet, but yeah, so choose what you would like, then it'll show up on your chart in this patterns box if you click the three dot menu there is a whole bunch of strat setups in here and what this does is it basically draws a chart or sorry it draws a box around a certain setup i'll show you what i mean so there's all these strat ones at the top but i only like to use the inside bar, that's a good one. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you just click it to turn it on. So if it's green up here, it means that those things are in use. 
So do you see how it puts this nice box around your inside days? And we love inside days. And if you trade the strat, you know why. Oh. If you want to customize the way that your chart looks, you click the settings button up here right next to the time frame. Click it. And this is where you can do all your color changing, your background color. So if you wanted a pink background, so you see. So yeah, you can just play with these colors. This is amazing uh, because I was always complaining to TrendSpider and telling them <laughs> that their platform wasn't pretty enough and that we needed more colors and they gave me more colors. So I'm very happy about that. Oh, and my scanner is here. So I can, if I want to, I can click on any of these scans that I've made that you guys all have if you're my affiliate and it'll pull them up right in that little window there. Um, let's see. Let's do Strat Inside Day and then see it'll pull up. It'll pull up the Inside Days. Netflix, Oracle, PDD, you get it. And then my watch list is up here. So if you want to edit it, click the three dot menu, hit edit. And this is how you add tickers to it. So you type the symbol, you don't need a dollar sign or anything, and then separate with a comma. Okie dokie. Hope that helps.